What's up guys, hope you are doing well there. You have come to the right place to learn many things including different tutorials, tech reviews, motivation and many other educational stuff. So if you want more, subscribe and ring the bell. Let's get started. My name is Leenath and welcome to my YouTube channel Steak Show. During this tutorial, give me your feedback questions in the comment section. And don't forget to hit a like if you like this video or dislike for this video at the end. Okay, this tutorial is for the ArcGIS users, ArcMap uh, users. You may have seen and you may have used different tools and different models in the software, ArcMap software, GIS software. So these tools and models can do different things. Suppose you wanted to create your own tool or model to do something really quick. How to create a tool or how to create a model? Sometimes you will have to use number of tools in sequence or repeatedly to get a similar output, the same output. This is where, that is where your own model is necessary. Your own model is necessary. In this tutorial, I will try to teach you how to create a GIS model using different tools to get an expected outcome. Wow! This video is based on my last tutorial. If you haven't watched it, please check the link or card showing here in this one or check the description section. I have provided the link. Okay, right, let's do the work. First, you have to use the Catalog here, you can see the catalog. I have created a folder name Big Show X Files. Simply, you can start by right click on folder and get this menu and create a new toolbox. You can change, give uh, any name here. I will give name my toolbox. my toolbox simply click ok then again you can click the plus mark here right click again on this icon tbx extension here and again go to new model now you are in a new model first of all you can simply close it again you will have to rename your more right click get you can do different things i will explain this thing later simply rename i will name it name it as my model right now you can double click and open the model when you double click on the model you can see this tool has no parent still we haven't done anything for this model so you will have to right click and edit the model. Right. I once I told you this tutorial is based on my last video. In my last video I have used several tools to do different things and to get a final output. Here I will create a model to do the same but I will not use different tools here. In sequence by means. Uh, one by one. Here, I will use all the tools in this within this model. At a single click, I will get the out. Right. So first of all, I will have to uh, use this reclassify. You can navigate for your tool. You have to require tools. You can simply click, drag, and drop it to this model you can see the model is created right first tool has been dragged into this model first i will need classify so i need i apply drag click drag and drop it to this model then i will use raster to polygon so i will drag and drop raster to polygon here then I will use uh, select tool, drag and drop. Then I will use uh, 
buat smooth body. But there you go. Now you have read different tools. See to this model, you go model, right? Don't mix up these models. Otherwise, it will be difficult to organize. So to do that, if this was mixed by you, this can mix. What you can simply do, you can uh, use this auto layer. Click on this, all the tools will be automatically organized. You can zoom in, zoom out, right, and different things. So, right. I have added all the important tools, four different tools to create a model. I have my video and so. First, first of all, now I have already added the tool. First of all, I have to add my data. Add data. I will use reclassification for this spot image. I will use near infrared. I want to separate land cover and water area. Right? So normally what we do we right click go to properties we can adjust uh, we can classify the classify into two things if you around 66 it's okay You can see <clears throat> now normally what we do we can use the uh, reclassification tool. double click and open the tool apply one and reclassify and then we can use pass the polygon tool apply and get the polygon like then again we can use uh, select tool apply then the last output here no, here what we'll use, what we will do, we do, we will do, we'll apply all the two tools into a model and get the output at one. Okay, right. First, we have added the output here. Now, I'm to link this thing. Double click. You can double click and get the tool. Your input raster should be the added data click and apply classify here we need two things water and ground data click ok output raster location it is not necessary in the middle output so if you want you can set it the output simply click ok right first Step is open. so this is the tool and this is the input. Hope you can identify this is the input, this is the tool, and this is the output. If you want, you can rename your output. You can give any name. For so now, I am not going to change the name. Then this output should use as an input for this tool. Raster to polygon. Double click and open the tool can see the class image the output here also before we go to the next step you can simply validate the entire model so okay and you can simply run the first two you will not be able to see any output here i will show you later Right, it's done to the end. Okay, simply close and save the model. And close it. You cannot see any output here, but you can see the model. Right, okay, right click and edit the model. If you want this output in the table of contents, simply right click the output and add to display. 
then you should be able to see the output like this one. So for now, we don't want to see all the outputs. Right, then we have run the model. Now I am going to leave this output with this second tool, raster volume. Reclass image is the output. This one. And we don't need any output location and click OK. We can simply validate again and run the model and we don't want to see the second output in the table of content. Likewise you can see how to do this thing. Good. Yeah. The next output should be raster three class one. Right? Raster class one. And here you will have to apply the uh, SQL code. We have run the model now so we could equal one four. I will explain what is one. Simply select here and add to this display. Now you can see the one and two here. Simply for the properties. Go to category, read code, add all values. Hope you have familiar with these basic things. If you haven't, please check my other playlist. Then apply it. Now we want to extract only one. What I that is why we have we gave the SQL code expression code as one. Simply click OK and then run the model. Completed. OK. Now, finally, three tools have been linked. Smooth polygon. Okay, then we want to smooth the boundaries. So, input feature is this one. The output of the last tool. Last the three class select. And your output location should be set here. And smoothing tolerance is uh, 1000 meters up yes. and click apply no right all the tools have been linked take here and you can check or validate the tool and run the tool okay it's like this okay Let's see final results of this. Right, it's okay. Just close, close. If any error message is come, this tool will be rainbow only. Right. For now, I'm going to this close. I don't want this output again. Right. We have only the input image. First one. Again, we I can. Double click and open the tool. Still, this tool has no parameter. The message is coming. So, what you have to do again, you have to edit and remember to get the input and output parameters. Your first input parameter should be this one. So, you can set this right click and set this as model parameter. E mark will be added here and your last output and right click and model parameter set it as the model parameter output location and you can save and close the tool now you have a tool to create a extracted polygon from a raster file which has included four different tools what are the different tools? Go to edit, 
can see the different things here. We classify raster polygons, select and smooth polygons. So now you can double click and open your tool. Now you have an open. Now you have a your own tool. Right. You can input your image and simply give uh, any new name. I will set it as number two. Okay, right. We are giving just the satellite image and we cannot see the rest of the tools. Simply click OK to get the final output. This is the importance of the tool. Many people don't see the different tools available in this model, but different processes are ongoing within this model. Now you have your oven model. Right. Hope you understand this lesson, this tutorial. You can see the output. So this is the initial raster image. This is the file output using your oven model. This raster image extracted the water area and converted into polygon and smoothed the boundaries and we have the output simply we just use a single model so this is how to do it hope you saw something you hope you understand something new if you like this video please hit the like for me if you have anything to ask please comment in the comment section please share this video with your friends who may need this and for more videos don't forget to hit the subscribe and ring the bell icon notification updates and i will be back with another video for you soon till then take care and goodbye